Welcome to the I Create Daily Podcast. I'm Leora Alderson. And I'm Devani Alderson. We're your co-hosts on this journey of creativity and productivity. I Create Daily is for artists in every genre of creating, from musicians to writers, crafters to inventors, bloggers to entrepreneurs. I Create Daily is a movement for creators serious about your art. If you're into creating anything, this podcast is definitely for you. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. All righty. Hey, guys. We are doing an impromptu coffee break live on Facebook, and it's just we sometimes have spontaneous ideas, and we're always like, maybe we should just film it now, and then we were thinking maybe we should just do a live stream now in the moment, um, and the topic is spontaneity, visioning, spontaneity, spontaneity yeah. visioning, yeah. and moving forward and yeah. saying words, right? Yeah. Um, so we just got yeah. finished exercising, which is when we have all our great ideas, yeah. when we're not showering or sleeping. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. In- inevitably. So, so part of the idea is for this the podcast is like even if you're not ready so start even if you're not ready so we weren't ready to do a podcast because look we literally are still sweating from just getting through biking um and yet that stirred that's like inspired the idea for thinking for me to think about all the things that we've done that we weren't ready for and that we launched into and did anyway like and everything. <laughs> everything and are so glad okay we're not saying that this is the way for everybody, um, but what we are saying... Nor are we advising it as a business right, plan. <laughs> right, because you know it's unproven, really, as far as what we're doing and all that we're doing, whether all of it is going to work out. In fact, we can pretty well assume that not everything we're going to do is going to work out because yeah. that's the nature of business. It's like you fail and fail fast and you fail forward and you keep picking up and starting and moving forward and each time you gain something new. Mm-hmm. So the concept of you know so many things that... So, so part of the concept is tuning into your intuition and also visioning. So when you start the process of visioning and vision boarding and setting forth goals and deciding and identifying where you want to go and then working a plan to get there, it's uh, so easy to, you know, like it, 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 it happens. It begins to unfold and happen even sometimes without your plan, things that you could never plan. So for instance, um, Devani's father, my husband, Coleman and I um, have property in the mountains or near the mountains on 50 acres. And we had planned to eventually uh, do a lot of organic gardening and maybe even farming. And, you know, from about a year's time or so of put maybe a couple years of putting that, you know, thought out there in that plan in our future, we had the opportunity to buy a gardening website. Well, where we are now, where we live now is in the woods. And so it is not a great spot for gardening because we don't have enough sunny spots. Uh, but we had the opportunity to buy the site and to get into the mindset of gardening and creating gardening, you know, you know, as part of a way of life and, you know, failing sooner with that. Holistic um, living. Holistic living and, and, you know, and, and even, you know, growing your own, all this involved in growing your own food and experimenting so that we think we wanted to be a lavender farmer, for instance, we get to grow lavender on a small scale and see what that's like before we do it on a large scale. So anyway, we bought that website before we were gardening, before we were ready. It's kind of like incubate, how an incubator, uh, business incubators and startup incubators, you get to like test an idea and you get to go through the beta and you get to figure out like, is this actually going to work on a larger scale? Yeah. So it's like doing that with your own ideas, like becoming your own incubator um, and just kind of starting it on a smaller level because you're gonna have to start on a smaller level anyway yeah nobody's gonna just decide hey I'm gonna start a lavender farm and then does this big huge lavender farm totally unproven buying this you know like that's just not realistic for a lot of people yeah so you get to test a lot of things and so then the other thing that happened is uh, we are as Devani said we're always ideating and coming up with ideas and far more ideas than we probably will ever have time to get to in this lifetime because once you get into the flow of coming up with ideas they never stop creators know this it's like you know you start one painting and you have you know a dozen ideas for you know for more or you start one book and that shoots into the you know offspring and in, offsprings into a dozen or more yeah um and so sorry so, so similarly um it's we ended up having the idea for the i create daily brand um and so you know it's like it wasn't a good time to start it when we started it um and which was around it was july of last year and then the podcast was November 5th of last year. Right. So we started the I Create Daily and then we, deci- then we decided, right, to mm-hmm. do the podcast. It's like, well, we weren't ready. And the reason we weren't ready is because we were too busy doing too many other things. Right. Now, again, we're not advising that this is the mm-hmm. best thing for you to do um, because it can be chaos um, and hard work, a lot of hard work and many long hours over an extended period of time. 
uh, we also have on our site on an article uh, about the one thing and focusing on one thing and many uh, you know highly successful people and uh, coaching gurus have advised you know focus on one thing and get that done before you move on to the other and there's a tremendous amount to be said for that we come on the side of there's no one way that's right for everybody and while there's no question that you can get more done and we can make more progress if we focus on just one brand at a time um, at the same time if it doesn't fit our personality so well then we may not be as happy working on only one thing we may not you know and all the other idea but the thing what we've discovered is that all the the other things that we start working on kind of feed into each other yeah so essentially it ends up, so our one thing then, rather than one website or one topic, has become media publishing. Mm -hmm. So our one thing is media publishing, and within that we have a number of different brands and sites and projects. Um, and we're hiring so many. We're, so many. we're hiring virtual assistants, we're hiring freelancers, um, and so that's one of the ways that we're able to leverage our time and get more done. Uh, well, also at the same time, we also noticed that a lot of people were, um, struggling in our community with honing in on one thing because they wanted to do so many things and they didn't want to pick and choose. They, it was a lot of advice is focus on one thing that's most important. Well, what if the five big goals you have for a year or three big goals or two big goals you have for the year are equally important? And it's like, well, how do I, that's like, how do I pick the most important goal when both of these are something that I want to do and want to like a year from now, I will regret not having done the other, you know? Yeah. And we, we know a lot of people who are like that. Like not everybody fits this focus on one project model because not everybody thinks in linear one project at a time right. ways. A lot of creators have this like mind that just kind of connects dots between various projects. Yes. And that's just, it's hard to fit different ways of thinking into one model right like you can't do it right exactly so yeah and i mean in, in a way it's like the same thing like when we adopted you from india like we knew we were wanted to be parents <laughs> but we didn't know when we went to india that we were going to come home um you know with with you and trying to bring you home and after three years that's another podcast and we did <laughs> Kara, you just covered that story but the point is it's like you set things in motion with visioning yeah. And then you notice the opportunities and you tune into your, your intuition. You know, we cannot obviously, and we shouldn't chase every opportunity that comes, especially in this day and age of infinite opportunities. Yeah. But the things that, that are a part of your vision board, a part of your dreams, a part of your big goals. Now those things, those opportunities that come along, even before you're ready, pay attention to those. Yeah. That everything comes along before you're ready, right? Well, yeah. I mean, like almost a everything comes along before you're fully ready to do it. Cause when are you ever like what exact moment are you ready to do something yeah in terms of like like I create daily even even if we had not started last year even still this time this year we still wouldn't be ready because we'd yeah. be doing a million different things that's you right know? we would have expanded like, so much in, in uh, the fewer in areas something. yeah in the same areas so yeah I saw so again the key message is plan your goals Set your visions down as goals, uh, as even timelines, like approximations, so that you can work your way backwards. So we work on 90 days, we work on quarters. Uh, but begin to set your goals and then think about them every day, work on them every day, and then pay attention to the opportunities that come your way and know that pretty much you may never be ready. So the other important part is to listen, follow your heart, listen to your intuition, and uh, Re recognize that there may never be a perfect time. In fact, the perfect time is probably now. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks. That's a wrap. Thanks so much for joining us for the I Create Daily podcast. Please let us know what creatives you would like us to interview and what topics you would be interested in hearing more about. And if you enjoyed this show, please leave a review on iTunes. We value your feedback. We read all the reviews and it just helps us get the word out on the I Create Daily podcast. Thank you so much. Thanks so much.